Hey tribe, it's your girl Autumn Kanai. Welcome back to another video. Um, so for those that have subscribed and been watching from the beginning, you know that my page is pretty new. Um, so far all the videos I have up have just been like practicing and getting used to being on camera, um, hearing myself talk, which is something I knew would be kind of like weird for me because I don't like the sound of my voice on my own. So I'm like, hmm. Um, so like having to like sit there and edit my videos and like watch that and editing in general, like that's been new. Um, by now my print account of vlog should be up. Like guys, that was the most I've ever edited. Like I was so proud of myself the way that video turned out. Um, the transitions like were on point, the music, like all the stuff. Like I am learning and I'm so proud of myself. Um, and I hope that you guys, um, are proud of me too. <laughs> Um, and so if you're new here, please subscribe, um, and like this video. Um, this is a journey and I would love to have you guys come along on this journey with me. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my first, like, vlog. It's going to be, I want it to be a weekly vlog, so I want my channel to be, like, I'm going to start a series soon, um, and I will announce that series when we get there. Um, but I'm going to start a series soon and I want to post those, like, on Sundays. Yeah, I want to post those on Sundays. And then on Wednesdays, um, because I really came to YouTube, like, I want to be a vlogger. Like, I love watching vlogs. I love, um, everything about that. Like, I just, that's what I have on the background. Like, while I'm living my life and everything is vlogs. So, I came to YouTube to be a vlogger. Um, but right now I do work, like, a normal, um, nine to five job. Not normal, because I love my job. Um, and I don't, because I love my job, I don't plan to, like, stop that in the near future and be, um, a full-time influencer. So I've been nervous about doing vlogs because Monday through Friday from nine to five, I'm working and while I think my job is cool and I think that you guys be, and I do plan to like come work with me, like I do want to be one of those. So I think that you guys would be interested to see it like the first time, but after that, like I'm not, I can't film, I can't vlog going to work nine to five. Like that's just not interesting to you guys. So I don't know what I'm going to do like in terms of the vlogging because I do definitely want to do that. Um, so if you guys have any ideas or like ways like let me know what you want to see like let me know how I can incorporate being a vlogger into like the videos that you already see up like that's really like what I have time for so I don't know um, so yeah like just to see because that's like when like the fun stuff happens like I do some things after work occasionally but I work and I love my job and I don't want to stop um so for now this is gonna be a week uh spend the weekend with me so we shall see uh, where this weekend takes us but come along with me come on this journey i'm so excited you guys are here to spend the weekend with me um so right now i'm just kind of like cleaning my room i don't know if like if you see my bed is not made um i don't know if you can hear my washer and dryer but yeah so right now i'm just cleaning my room um but i'm organizing under my counter like under my bathroom sink in there um <clears throat> It's just a little bit cluttered and I know where things are, but I would like to like see things and like, I know that I, there's stuff I need to throw away. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, so let me show you guys my bathroom. So this right here, down here, like it just looks, it's a mess. Everything's kind of thrown in here. So I want to kind of like organize this and make it look pretty. But I think so I'm just cleaning my house, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so that was the sound of my boyfriend getting here with the food. I'm so, so hungry, I'm not eating since breakfast. Um, I'm trying Prince's Chicken for the first time. So good, like, so if any of you guys know, like, Nashville Hot Chicken, like, if you've been to Nashville, there's like Hattie B's, there's Helen's Hot Chicken, and then there's Prince's Chicken. Prince's is black owned, and I've never had it before. We go to, um, Hattie B's just because like where I lived when I was in the city was closer to Hattie B's um and Princess was like kind of farther so I've never been there but now I'm trying it for the first time and I'm super excited I got the hot and I got tenders and uh, he's all like oh be careful like it's hot like their hot is different than like um Hattie B's hot so we're gonna see I think I need some ranch though got some ranch i'm excited to try this guys if you come to nashville like you have to have hot chicken no matter where you go 
Um, Patty Beans is good, but they're often crowded. I feel like that's like the hot chicken everyone knows. Um, but it's it's still good. It's definitely worth it. Okay. It's definitely hot. But I have a high hot tolerance, so I wouldn't say it's too hot, but it's definitely hot. It's really good. If you're sensitive to spice, I can see how you would say this is like too hot. But so good. Then eat my princess. <laughs> and then we will resume the bathroom. See you guys. So this is how organizing down here is going so far. I use like the bins and I put all of my hair stuff in it so I can see it because there's stuff that I have like two of, things like um, I forgot I had and I could have been using. So yeah. And then like there's like more hair stuff and some lotions in there. And then I made this little bucket. So all of my hair stuff before was like shoved into this bucket and like some stuff was in there so I turned this into like a feminine product bucket um and then in this box um which is old wig box ladies to read your stuff um it's like all of my hair brushes and like hair styling tools and then I have another box like this in my closet with like my straightener blow dryer I have like so much hair stuff, but I do do my hair myself, so I use pretty much everything that I have. So that's how that's going. Okay guys, everything is all tidy in the bathroom. Couldn't get rid of that. Ended up adding more stuff, so that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, I'm cleaning the bathroom. And then I straightened up my, then I straightened up my room a little bit. Um, just so, yeah. It's now 7.30 and um, something you guys don't know about me yet is that I do work at Starbucks on Saturday mornings. Um, I usually open Saturday mornings uh, from 4 to 12, so it's kind of early, but you know how they say like have a hobby that pays you? Starbucks is that. Like I love Starbucks. Um, tons of benefits and so yeah. Um, I do that every Saturday, well most Saturdays. I do try to leave a weekend for myself once a month because I do have a primary job Monday through Friday. So sometimes it's too much depending on what's going on with that. Um, I'll like request the weekend off just to give myself a break. But yeah, so I'm working at Starbucks in the morning at 4 a.m. It's currently like 7.30. So usually I try to be in the bed like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Um, but because it's not my normal sleep schedule, I'm usually not asleep by that time. Um, but like, and I usually fall asleep around 10, but literally I just try to unwind. So I lit all my candles and I have my diffuser going, just trying to like wind down, set that mood. Um, and I'll probably throw on a movie and just go to sleep after I take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so just throw on a movie. Hey guys, ooh, I look a hot mess, so... Just got home from Starbucks. I'm about to wash my hair um, and then just kind of like hang out while I air dries. Um, I don't really use a whole lot of heat on my hair. Um, I shave it maybe like three, four times a year, if that. So um, I do a lot of protective styles. And I do my hair myself. I wouldn't say like I'm like hairdresser quality or anything. Like people are like, oh, can you do my hair? No, because. <laughs> I don't like I really don't know how like I know how to like do my own hair but I'm not trained or anything I know how to like put my hair in a protective style so that I don't touch it I don't mess it up in that phase like so this is not even about to be a hair tutorial guys like no <laughs> um but I'm about to like take this down what is happening like these cornrows right now and they've been like this since last weekend because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do last weekend but I'm gonna decide this weekend because I've been in this state for two weeks and this is no longer working for me <laughs> so I'm gonna um my dog is so disrespectful y'all he's the boss of the house he like he really thinks he runs the house and it's really crazy 
if lose the door closed, he doesn't like that. <laughs> He's so rude. Okay, but yeah, let me take this down. I'm really feeling this. But yeah, I need to comb it out and take a shower. Okay guys, my hair is done. This is the finished product. But you see what I'm saying? Like I'm not like a professional or anything. Like these are a little bit crooked and stuff. Like the braids aren't perfect. But peep this accidental like almost stitch right there. No, if I can only let him do that on purpose. <laughs> but um that's not exactly what I had in mind, but after I washed my hair, my friend texted me, like, wanting to hang out. And I was like, well, I'm not really doing anything. But we can have a movie night and watch the new Halloween movie on Peacock. So, she's coming over to do that. So, it, it limited what I could do because I only had, like, four hours to do it. And this took, like, three and a half. For some reason, this took a really long time. It got started at, like, like 4.30. And it's, um, 8 o'clock now. I got started at 5, so like 3 hours. And it's like, just turned 8 o'clock. So I'm just oiling my scalp with, um, this scalp. Giant itchy scalp care. My scalp just gets really dry. And especially in the winter, so. And then I'm just gonna put this foaming lotion on the top. Um, my motions just to kind of lay it down a little bit better. And then I'm just going to wrap it up in my scarf. Um, so I'm cooking pizza tonight. We're watching a Halloween movie on Peacock. So um, I'm just going to kind of wrap this up for a little bit. Uh, just to like lay it down a little bit better. Snatch it, slay it, period. Um, while well, I get uh, cooked pizza, I am making homemade pizza. Um, I'm not making my crust. I get my crust from Publix. In their bakery, they have, like, um, pizza crust. And you can get it already rolled out, or you can get it, like, in the ball dough. I like the ball dough a little bit better. It, it does taste different, but it's so good. And it's, like, so simple, and it's fine. Um, so I'm making a barbecue chicken. And I'm making a, uh, I'm making a margarita pizza. So, um, I have to go roll out those two crusts. Okay, I think my friend's here, guys, so, um, real quick. This is the dough I got from Kroger. And so I'm making a barbecue chicken pizza, and I get their chicken tenders. This is barbecue sauce, cheese, put some onions. Sometimes I have bacon, depending on how I'm feeling, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. And then my margarita pizza, which is just tomato, roasted tomatoes, roasted um, garlic, and then I blend it up and season it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna roll this out. We're gonna make pizza and watch the Halloween movie. And I will let you guys know how it is because I'm really excited for it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's like almost 12 o'clock. But I've been up for like two hours just laying in bed. Love Sundays. Love to just lay in bed. But I'm about to make some Nutella pancakes. So we're making Nutella stuffed pancakes with some bananas. Which I'm super excited. I think I found this on TikTok. I forgot where I found it. Might have been Pinterest. But yeah, pizza night, movie night was fun. I'm sorry I didn't film that. Um, it was just like, we were just really just chilling in the house, eating pizza, talking, watching Halloween, which was okay. Um, if you've seen the last Halloween that came out two years ago with, um, and that was good. So it just like picks up exactly where that one left off and yeah, it was okay. I don't want to like say too much cause it'll give it away for those that haven't seen it, but I don't know, apparently this is another one, um, because that the one that came out, just came out, it's supposed to come out last year, so there's another one coming out next year, I guess. So we shall see how it all comes together, but 
I don't know about really scary movie fan, but my sister got me into the Halloween franchise. So, yeah, let's go make some breakfast. <laughs> breakfast i literally just finished editing my prince Kana um video and then posted that so that's up now definitely go watch that but real quick before i wrap up the vlog because it is sunday evening so before i start the week i just kind of like to have a wusta moment and just kind of chill out i was watching the kim kardashian side of night live because i haven't seen that yet so i'm just watching that i'm just hanging out and chilling just like resetting my mind for the week um but i wanted to give show you guys my jlx label haul that i just got and um this is one piece it's just one shoulder super cute um in the back as well um it's super comfortable and i was afraid that it was like because i'm kind of thicker so i was afraid it was gonna fit the large fits fit girls like jlx label they got it um, we can wear their clothes, so um, I do order a lot of JLX actually because I love the quality and I love that it fits um, most body types, and so, yeah, and it makes it makes um, it flatters my figure at least. So I do like it. Um, and I have a concert to go to next week, so I'm definitely gonna wear this probably with some jeans and a cute belt or something. But I do. It's like a little little sexy moment like I like it <laughs> this cute little leather bag it has like a little handle this was on sale it's ten dollars I was like well when would I not when would I not use this so I got this I was like when would I not use a cute little leather black bag so the inside looks like it's only ten dollars so I got this okay so this is the um, what's it called? <laughs> the Cream Brandy Detail Rib Set. And I got this in an extra large, but I wish I would have got a large. I wish I would have got a large because um, it's not fitting how I wanted it to fit because I got an extra large. So, you know, just shopping and like being critical with myself. <laughs> um, so, this is that set. It's cute, a little something to wear around the house. I like it. Um, probably wear like a like long sweater or something if I do wear it out. But it's really good to like wear around the house. I wish this fit tighter. But it's okay. Hey guys, I'm loving this one. I do need to tighten these straps a little bit, but um, this 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 is the black woke silky slinky dress. 
and love it. I have no plans, nowhere to go, no ball, nothing to go to, but I got this dress and it is super flattering, super cute. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get the bottom for you guys, but I can't get the bottom of the dress at this angle. Let me try to... Cause it's like super cute and it's kind of long. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love this dress. I love this little detail on one side right here. I have a similar dress from J Lux in blue, and I love it and I wear it all the time. Cause when I don't like when I'm not prepared and I'm like, oh, you don't know what to wear. Like I would put on that blue dress because. And a slinky dress so you can pull it you can make it shorter you can make it longer you can make one side long one side short it's such a versatile dress and so that's why i love these dresses and they fit so well and they are so um flattering from jlx so yeah i got another one i got the black one so like okay the blue it's like a light blue it's so pretty but like girl you got the same dress on about five different times now so i got the black because it's like you know you can always you can never go wrong with the versatile black dress. So, so I got this one. Okay. I think that's all for my outfits. And then I got the staple with this season. So the black leather. This is a blazer. But you know, this black leather, not even black, but like leathers in the season faux leather. Of course. Um, it's a faux leather blazer, and this is a large, and I was nervous for this because I have big arms. Like, I'm a curvy girl with big arms, and I was nervous for this blazer because I was like, if my arms don't fit right, like, I have that problem all the time. That's not the problem with this blazer. It, it's, a, it's only a large. Right, let me double check. Yeah, it's only a large, not an extra large, and... So maybe, guys, I like think I'm bigger than I am sometimes, but I think all of us think that. Um, like, we all have that issue. Um, but, like, this is perfect. Arms. <laughs> Y'all, like, I'm really happy about this blazer. The way it fits. And it's kind of long, too. It's, like, almost fingertip length, so... Yeah, I'm really happy about this piece too. But yeah, guys, that was my JLX label haul. I only got a couple pieces. I'm still looking for a couple more fall pieces, but they were having a 30% off sale, so I went ahead and snagged a few pieces from that. Like I said, I'm just adding a little bit, a few items to what I already have. Um, but I love the fall. That's my fashion time. Yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you like this video. Um, because yeah, I'm going to be doing more vlogs and like I said, I have a series um, coming that I want to start soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited about this channel, really excited about this journey and I would love to have you with me, come along with me. So see you guys another day. Bye.